movieweb.com. In an ancient time, Earth was nearly destroyed. Not by man, but by gods from the sky. Seven mystics banded together to fight the invaders. They created the Dragon Balls. Now the signs have appeared again. The evil has returned. And only one chosen warrior has the power to defeat this threat. I'm not ready for this. You are the only one who can do it. With this Dragon Ball, I take my vengeance. So first of all, I read that the first question you uh, asked James Wong was about the, uh, the hair. So yeah. uh, how do you think the whole, uh, the whole hair arc turned out for you? Well, I, you know, to be honest with you, this is like, you know, Jim's pioneering the manga. You know, there hasn't really been an adaptation of manga yet. So for me, I was like, well, how, you know, I, I always feel a sense of responsibility for like the people watching this film and for like the kids that have saved up their, their money to go see this. So I wanted, I wanted to do it justice. And I also wanted to really do justice to the fans. So it was hard finding the hairdo. And this is what we ended up with. And I don't even know, I'm never satisfied. So I don't even know He's if, a perfectionist. if we ended up with the right hair, but that's what we ended up with. Because if you have this real hair, you know, a foot, foot high, you know, two feet wide hair, which was in the manga, I mean, it would look clown-like, you know, on the close-ups. And it might look good on the far shots, but like close-ups, it would look retarded. What did you, you enjoy more? It's just kind of like the, uh, the physicality and like the fight scenes are riding that pretty sweet bike. Sweet bike. <laughs> that was awesome. Sweet bike and getting to use all the weapons. That was pretty awesome. I've never done anything like that or been an action chick in a movie, so that was pretty cool. Nice. It was fun. So, uh, so James, like, uh, you obviously have the, uh, the most <laughs> most costume work done. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, can you talk about a little bit working with uh, Alec and Tom and just the whole process of costume for this? Uh, yeah, they were just fabulous, fabulous the whole time. Uh, we had one design from the beginning, and we went through two different versions of the costume. The first one was a hard shell. And it looked very cool, but it was very hard to move in. And they very quickly said, that's not what we need. And they went back to the drawing board and uh, built it again in softer material. And when I put the second version on, there was just no problem at all. I could move it any way I wanted to. It was like a leotard, basically. Oh, nice. So we were all really happy with it, yeah. You said you could, you could move like very easily with it. Was it, yeah. was it still kind of, it, was, it wasn't limiting at all in your, with your costume? At not all? at all. Um, it, was, it was a really good design. It's everything you want out of an action movie costume. It, and it frankly protected me against a lot of <laughs> falling, you know, fake rock and errant punches and sticks to the face and stuff. Cool. So, like, uh, uh, Jamie, you had a lot of fighting background before this, so uh, what, what kind of other things did you pick up when you were uh, doing training for this? Oh, man. I mean, Samurai Girl training was a basic foundation for the things, you know, the training to come for Dragon Ball. I mean, it was intense. It's it, You can't compare the two. Um, they not only did we do physical training month prior to filming in Mexico, we learned specific styles of martial arts catered to each character. So it's very specific work. And we also had to learn fight choreography, so. Lots of squats, lots of working out. So there's, a, I really thought a lot of the fight scenes in this film, so like, can you talk about your, your training for this? Like I know there's a lot of, uh, you said like five hours a day for you, and so you talk a little bit about the training and getting that, that uh, physicality through that. Yeah, we had like, uh, five weeks before we went down to Mexico and started shooting and uh, our training, like they were literally like, okay, you got the part, you gotta go into training tomorrow. And I was like, great, okay, because I'm really out of shape. And I'm really not a big guy to play this part. So, you know, I, I went in, started eating six meals a day. You know, they introduced me to like a really intense, you know, 45 minute workout, which was like boot camp. Like I, I threw up like several times <laughs> during the training of it. Um, and then they introduced us to like, you know, five or six different styles, and they were going to combine that all together and kind of create and find Goku's fighting style. You guys, you guys have a favorite scene? That... My favorite scene is his Kamehameha. <laughs> oh. My favorite scene awesome. is uh, Roshi's hand on her ass. <laughs> <laughs> nice. That's just right out of the manga. It's awesome. So, do either of you have a favorite uh, fight scene from the film? Oh yeah, my favorite is the end. Man. Yeah, yeah. It was a lot of Justin and I out in the desert. We trained up for it. We were ready for it, uh, and I I don't even remember how long it took. It might have taken a week, uh, and uh, there were little injuries and lots of sweating, and no one complained a word. It was really cool. 
hands down fighting yourself. You can't <laughs> beat that, right? I mean, what else do you get to do that yeah. unless you look crazy? Because but, if you're a masochist, you know? it's like the perfect thing. You know? Know. <laughs> for the for the old fans and the new fans alike, like, what do you think? Uh, how do you think the fans will react to this uh, this new live action movie? Um, you know, I'm sure they'll have a lot of. I'm sure they'll have issues with it, but. The thing they got to keep in mind is that it's not Dragon Ball. It's not Dragon Ball Z. It's somewhere in the middle. Um, what the what this really is is to keep move you know keep the stories alive, to keep Dragon Ball alive, so that new the new generation of kids can be introduced to it, and we can actually open you know the next movies up to more stories and bringing more of the Dragon Ball world into that. So that's the purpose of it. Um, but it's not Dragon Ball. It's Dragon Ball Evolution. This spring, the battle for our world Who are you? will begin. Dragon Ball Evolution. Good.